F1 vs F2 Golden Doodle Information and Facts When it comes to picking out the perfect Golden Doodle for you, it's impossible to make the wrong choice, but there are plenty of choices to be made. From coat color and size to energy levels and personality, there is absolutely no shortage of options available. Going a bit deeper, the generation of Golden Doodle can also have a tremendous impact on what kind of dog you're getting, which is why terms like F1 and F2 are going to have been learned and understood to have all the information available. That's why today, we are breaking down the F1 and F2 Golden Doodle generations, as well as the pros and cons for each. What is a Golden Doodle? Now, don't roll your eyes just yet because it is super important to break down what makes a Golden Doodle before we can start looking at the variations of them. A Golden Doodle is a hybrid dog that is crossed between a Poodle, usually a standard, and a Golden Retriever. The effect is an animal with all the cuteness and friendly demeanor of a Golden Retriever, as well as the intelligence and hypoallergenic nature of the Poodle. Pretty neat, huh? How many generations of Golden Doodles are there? There are a heck of a lot more generations of Golden Doodles than just the two we are going to be talking about today, such as the F1B, F2BB, and so on. If you are interested in the science behind the crossing of genes though, you will be thrilled to know we already did a video breaking it all down that we will link below. What does F1 even mean, and F2? The F, featured before each generation, stands for filial, which simply means that the dog is a hybrid between two purebred dogs. The numbers are also pretty easy once you get the hang of it, and stand for the generation that the dog falls under. So an F1 Golden Doodle is a hybrid first generation cross between two purebreds. Easy enough, right? What is it all for? Breeders jump through all of these hoops because they are ultimately looking to make a Golden Doodle that will be consistently hypoallergenic, something that is hard to predict on the first few crosses. F1 vs F2 Parents The F1 parents are straightforward, just a purebred Golden and standard Poodle. The F2 parents are a bit wilder, as they are second generation hybrid dogs. This means that they will have one F1 parent, and the other could be F2, F1B, or even another F1 Golden Doodle. F1 and F1 breeding is far more common due to their predictable results. Common Features Between F1 and F2 Golden Doodles F1 and F2 Golden Doodles could have very similar appearances, or they may not. Both are a little unpredictable in terms of what you may get out, and so the appearance can vary some between each dog. That being said, both have similar measurements and ranges, with a height of 13 to 24 inches fully grown, a weight from 15 to 90 pounds, and a relatively long lifespan of 10 to 15 years. Temperament Temperament also doesn't vary all that much from the F1 generation to the F2, and that makes sense, as well as the personality of both are probably the most consistent in terms of personality and what they enjoy doing. Golden Doodles are fun-loving and family creatures that have a lot of energy and demand some attention and love. They can grow a bit irritable if they are left alone too long or aren't exercising enough, however, and so make sure that you keep these animals entertained, or else they can grow a tad bit restless and could become destructive around the house. Differences between F1 and F2 Consistency Here's where we start to get into what really sets these two apart. If you are looking for a doodle with more of the retriever's qualities, then you might be better off picking from the earlier generations, since the golden retriever genes drop off after every generation. When it comes to consistency, however, you would be much better off going with the F1, as even most breeders stay away from the F2, since back crossing in this case is quite unpredictable. Health We feel bad piling on, but F1 wins this round too. Health is a really important aspect of owning a pet, as nobody wants to see their dog suffering, especially if it is from preventable genetic diseases. If you are looking for the healthiest doodle, the F1 is that, since it doesn't receive any inbreeding issues as a cross. Coat Now here is where things get interesting. 
I'm taking the F2 generation for coat, but keep in mind that both are very unpredictable. The difference here is that the F1 generation is always going to take 50% Poodle and 50% Retriever, whereas the F2 is more varied and actually will grow longer hair than the F1. Shedding Shedding is a major part of why people turn to the Golden Doodle in the first place, since they can both be non-shedding and hypoallergenic. That is why the F2 gets the edge if you are a person with an allergy, but if you are just going for looks, then the F1 gives the doodle that classic teddy bear look that people love. This one is a toss-up, and so I'm going to cheat and call it a tie. Cost Golden doodles are awesome, but also kind of expensive, something that can scare away people that don't want to pay an arm and a leg. Luckily, the F2's biggest benefit comes into play here. Since the F1 Golden Doodle is the, no pun intended, gold standard in terms of appearance, it is going to be rarer and thus more expensive. The F2 wins out because it is unpredictable and in far less demand than the F1. And that's all for our video today. What do you guys think? F1 or F2? Leave a comment down below and let us know. As always, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this video as it helps a ton as well as subscribe to stay up to date on future videos. Bye!